If you've worked in marketing, you've probably launched countless campaigns to drive traffic to your website or to a specific landing page. But once visitors land on the page, how many of them are actually turning into leads? You've tried forms, but the results are not what you hoped for. What if you could automate the process, engaging visitors the moment they arrive and guiding them through a conversational experience that captures the information automatically? In this video, I'll walk you through how to build a lead generation chatbot with zero coding required so you can maximize your conversions and grow your pipeline. So let's get into it. I've created this diagram with what we want the chatbot to do. First, it will welcome the user. Then we will start gathering the lead's basic information like name, email, and phone number. From that, we will build an automation to send the information to our database Plus, we'll also qualify it and build a slightly different path to some specific users. Finally, we'll provide the user the option to leave some questions if they have any. And with the help of AI, provide answers to those questions right at the moment. And at the end, we'll just finish the conversation. Now, I'm not only going to break down this step by step, but also provide you with a template at the end with what we've built so that you can get started as quickly as possible with Lamba. So let's get into Lamba and create our chatbot. Once you log into Lamba, you'll find yourself in the home section. Lamba offers the possibility to build chatbots for channels like WhatsApp, Messenger, API chatbots to connect to Telegram or SMS, for example. But in this video, we're going to build a website chatbot. And we're going to start from scratch. Keep in mind there are some good templates to get you started with if you want, but I'll start from scratch. We then land on the builder. Here is where you build your chatbot flow. The chatbot starts from the starting point. So looking back at the diagram and idea that we had in mind, we'll start by welcoming the users. I'll add a button block and say something like, hey, welcome to company X, for example. I'll also add a GIF. Um, this one. Now, for the button that the user will click on, something like, hello there. Once we have that, we will jump right in into the lead capturing. After the buttons block, we will add a ask a name block. This block asks the user for the name. You'll see here at the bottom that the answer will be stored under the variable add name. This is very important as we will be sending this information later on to our database. After the name block, we'll add a question email block. Since we now have the add name variable from the previous block, we can use it to personalize the message. Now, the good thing about the question email block is that it will check if the email provided by the user as the format of an email. This is very useful as it can help the user avoid mistakes when typing it. And for the last question, we will ask for the phone number. Keep in mind that you can also ask your own custom questions with the ask a question block and save that information in the custom variable that you want. You just have to create it here. Now, after all the lead capturing, we want to send the information to our database. To simplify the video, I'll use our native Google Sheets integration, but you can pretty much send the information wherever you want. We have a native Airtable, Hotspot, Salesforce integration, among others, but you can also use webhooks to send it to your custom CRM. So I'll add the Google Sheets blog integration and store the leads information on a sheet. I created this simple Google Spreadsheets document on my Google Drive account with a column for each variable I want to store. Back in Lambot, simply connect your account. Select the document we just created and the sheet inside the doc. Now, for the action to perform, we want to create a new row on the sheet for each lead that comes in. Just select each column with its respective variable and we're done with it. Now, looking back to our diagram, the next step is to qualify the lead based on the information we've gathered. 
The criteria will vary depending on the type of lead you're targeting. To simplify the example, let's assume that leads that come from Spain are particularly valuable for us. In that case, after the spreadsheets blog, you can add a conditions blog to filter and prioritize those Spanish leads separately from the others. Keep in mind that with features like conditions, set of variables, and formulas, you can build pretty much anything in Lamba. But you may require a bit more experience if you're just starting out. So we'll set up a conditions here. And if the add country variable equals Spain, a Slack message will be automatically sent to the sales team so that they can reach out to the leads immediately. It's important to note here that the add country variable is a system generated value. We didn't request this information explicitly to the user, but in web chatbots, it's automatically determined based on the user's browser's location. So if the add country variable meets our criteria, we'll add a Slack integration block that sends the leads information directly to the sales team, enabling them to follow up quickly. The Slack message will contain the name, email, and phone number from the lead. Once we have it, we can now add a thank you message for providing their information. Once we have that set up, it's time to open the floor for the users to add some open questions. We'll add a buttons block asking if they have any questions regarding our service. We will offer two options, yes and no. For the yes option, we will connect the ask a question block so they can ask for the question and after it, the AI FAQs assistant. Keep in mind that the answers will only be as good as the knowledge base as you're teaching it with. I have this FAQs document for Lambot that talks about frequently asked questions. I'll copy the whole document and paste it here. After the AI FAQs block, we'll create another buttons block since, you know, they might have some more questions. For the yes option, we'll loop it back to the ask a question message. So it creates this loop where they can keep asking as many questions as they want. To exit the loop, they will select the no option. And for that path, we'll have a goodbye message saying something like, we'll be in touch soon. We'll also use this message block for the initial users that don't have a question. Just drag and drop the arrow here. And finish it off with a closed chat block so that the conversation status is considered closed. That's it. Now, looking back to our diagram, we built every step we wanted our chatbot to do. Let's now test the bot and see how it actually works. So, hello there, I'll leave my name. It uses my name for the message, that's nice. An email, a phone number. And as you can see, the information is stored correctly in the Google Sheets. And at the same time, since I'm in Spain right now, the Slack message arrived to the Slack group I have with sales. As for the questions, I'll ask something like, what is Landbot? And from the knowledge we added to the blog, it's able to answer without a problem. Let's now ask another question for the pricing, for example. And again, it's telling me to go to the pricing page or to contact the sales team. Cool. I'll finish the conversation and we got it. Now, what would be the next steps? In terms of design, you're able to customize the look and feel of this chatbot by going to the design section. You can use pre-made templates or customize it yourself. 
You can even add CSS or JavaScript if you have the technical knowledge. We have some really good examples and tips on our knowledge base if you want to dig deeper. Or you can ask our support team for help. Now, in terms of publishing your chatbot, you can embed it into your website as a live chat, a full page bot, embed it in just a section, or as a pop-up, just by copying and pasting this code onto your website. We also have documentation on how to do that down here. but you could also share it as a link. This link will open up a full page bot on the user's device, whether that's a computer or phone. And that's pretty much it. Now, if you wanna start directly from what I've built in this video, you'll be able to download the template into your account. Keep in mind, you will need a Lambot account. So sign up at lambot.io for a free trial if you haven't already. Once created, use the link that you'll find down in the description of the video to download the template on your account. Disclaimer here, once you download the template, you'll see a node instead of the AI FAQs block. Simply delete the node and add the AI FAQs block with your own information. And that's it. I hope this video really helped you build a lead generation chatbot for your website. It's going to make a difference, I promise. If you have any questions or doubts, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. I'm Nick from Lambot, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.